Welcome to the intricate world of chest wall muscles, the silent architects of our respiratory prowess and upper body strength. As we delve into the anatomical marbles beneath the skin, let's explore the key players that make up this dynamic ensemble. First and foremost, the pectoralis major, often known as the pecs, takes center stage. These powerful muscles, with their fan-shaped fibers, originate from the clavicle, sternum, and the costal cartilages of the upper ribs. Inserting into the greater tubercle of the humerus, they play a crucial role in the flexion, adduction, and medial rotation of the arm. Picture them as the guardians of your chest, offering support and definition to the front of your upper body. Innervated by the medial and lateral pectoral nerves. As we move deeper, meet the pectoralis minor, a smaller yet equally important companion. Originating from the third to fifth ribs, this muscle inserts into the coracoid process of the scapula. It aids in stabilizing the scapula, contributing to efficient shoulder movement and overall posture innervated by the medial pectoral nerve. Let's not overlook the subclavius, a subtle yet essential muscle anchoring the clavicle and assisting in shoulder movement. Originating from the first rib and its cartilage, it inserts into the inferior surface of the clavicle. Like a stabilizing force, the subclavius quietly ensures the integrity of the upper chest. Innervated by the subclavian nerve. Venturing to the sides, the serratus anterior emerges as a key contributor to scapular movement and stability. Originating from the lateral aspect of the upper eight or nine ribs, these muscles insert into the medial border of the scapula. Often referred to as the boxer's muscle, its serrated edges resemble a series of interlocking blades, creating a powerful and visually striking support system innervated by the long thoracic nerve. Moving towards the back, let's explore the latissimus dorsi, a broad and powerful muscle that originates from the lower spine and iliac crest. With extensive fibers, it inserts into the upper part of the humerus, contributing to the extension, adduction, and medial rotation of the arm. This lats muscle, resembling a pair of wings, adds strength and definition to the back. Innervated by the thoracodorsal nerve. Now, shift your focus to the abdominal region, where the external oblique muscles reign supreme. These diagonal fibers wrap around the torso, originating from the lower eight ribs and inserting into the linea alba, iliac crest, and pubic tubercle. Providing both support and flexibility, they act as the body's natural girdle, shaping the waist and enabling a range of movements. Innervated by the thoracoabdominal nerves. Moving deeper into the core, the internal oblique muscles crisscross beneath the external obliques. Originating from the thoracolumbar fascia, iliac crest, and inguinal ligament, they insert into the linea alba, pubic crest, and ribs. Together, they form a muscular shield, promoting torso stability and contributing to the twisting and bending motions that define our physicality. Innervated by the thoracoabdominal nerves. Completing the abdominal ensemble, the rectus abdominis takes center stage, originating from the pubic symphysis and pubic crest. 
This vertically aligned muscle inserts into the xiphoid process in costal cartilages of the fifth to seventh ribs. Famous as the six-pack, it not only adds aesthetic appeal but also plays a pivotal role in trunk flexion, allowing us to sit up and engage in various activities. Innervated by the thoracoabdominal nerves. Between our ribs, the intercostal muscles play a vital role in chest expansion and contraction during breathing. The external intercostals, with fibers running obliquely downward and forward, aid in inspiration, while the internal intercostals, with fibers running obliquely downward and backward, assist in expiration. Innervated by the intercostal nerves. Now, let's explore the transversus thoracis, a deep muscle situated along the inner surface of the anterior chest wall. Originating from the sternum and inserting into the costal cartilages of the lower ribs, this muscle adds another layer of support to the thoracic region, enhancing stability. Innervated by the intercostal nerves. Shift your focus to the subcostalus, another deep muscle found in the posterior part of the thoracic wall. With origins on the inner surface of the lower ribs, it inserts into the inner surface of the upper ribs. Working in tandem with other muscles, the subcostalus aids in respiration and thoracic stability. Innervated by the intercostal nerves. As we reflect on the symphony of chest wall muscles, let's appreciate the poetry in their coordinated efforts. Together, they form a resilient fortress, supporting our respiratory system, enhancing our physical prowess, and embodying the strength within us all.